There you go. I was looking for you. Um, what is there? Do it with me. Do it. Do what? Do it, please. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is it some kind of a joke or something? <laughs> you requested for pills, right? Here they are. I'll leave. Look, the Igwe needs a son. And he cannot have it by himself. I need you to help me, please. Wait, 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 wait. How dare you? You want me to sleep with you, the king's wife? You want to kill me? Listen, I'll pretend none of this happened. Don't touch me again, please. You've seen my nakedness. You have two choices. It's either you sleep with me and walk out of that door, or you refuse. You explain to the king what you're doing in my room at this time. My pen, please. I want you to take this thing easy. Just calm down. Calm down. I can't. Can't you understand? I can't calm down. Your Highness, you worth more than a million heads. Your head should be paramount to us now. Not even the outcome of the delivery. You cannot differentiate between my health and the outcome of the delivery. Exactly. Perhaps this is my last chance. I'm not getting any younger, you know. Igwe, I know you are right. You are right, but you are still our king. And as such, very, very valuable to us. You are important to us. Of course. Here, eh? here. Success without a successor it's no success at all. My king, I believe that the girls will put a smile on your face this time around. Yes, they will. I have been believing the same for the past two and a half decades. Gender was it? No, no, don't tell me it's another girl. No, 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 no. I won't take it from you. Don't tell me it's another girl. I'm sorry, my king. But the queen gave birth to a girl child. Oh, my king! 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 No, no, my dear. Alex, Your Highness. What am I doing here? Your Highness, you passed out last night. The elders and I rushed you to this place. And ever since, the doctors have worked tirelessly to revive you, Your Highness. Uh, is it true that the baby is a girl? Um. Your Highness, I humbly suggest that you forget about what happened last night and concentrate more on your health because that's the most important thing, Your Highness. Oh, Alize, am I under... Do I look like someone under a curse? Not at all, my king. You're the envy of every other king in this part of the earth. Your wisdom, your wealth, your fame as such, enviable ones, Your Highness. Without a sound on air to succeed me, the palace needs a prince. But Your Highness, I'm already in the palace. A prince not by name or balaise. I mean a prince by birth. But Your Highness, a prince is a prince, whether by birth or by name. <laughs> Ah, oh, my
Our lives. My queen, I need to use the car today. And I've told you that the both of you cannot make use of the jeep again. You have your cars. Make use of it. My queen, are you aware you're the reason Akueza does not respect me in this palace? Then what is that supposed to mean? Ever since I came into the palace, I've always respected you as the Ezra wife. The queen and the first wife. Why wouldn't Akuezu respect me as well? So how is it my problem? It is your problem! You're not carrying out your duty as the first wife in this palace! How would you scold the both of us equal? How dare you stand before me and utter words of calamity? How dare you have you no respect? I have kept quiet for so long! It is high time I spoke out! Akuezu does not have any respect for me. It is either you do the right thing or keep fighting to get my full right in this palace. into the palace. My queen, it is better he hears us. I am sick and tired of being humiliated by a woman I saw when she was brought in here. Hey, uh, enough is enough. What's going on here? My king, my king, you're welcome. I said what is going on here? My king, it's nothing to worry yourself about. I heard voices from outside. Are you telling me there's nothing to worry about? Um, my king, Akuiza is taking rather too much in this palace. How can she use the new jeep I want to make use of? And SM Wine here is doing nothing about it. Oh my goodness. Again? Again? How many times will I warn you not to convert this palace into a fighting and quarreling ground over property? How many times? Did I not buy each of you a car? Why should a car be an issue now? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry it will never happen again. The reason you are here is to give me a son, an heir to the throne, not to turn the palace into a fighting ground. None of you has been able to give me a son. All you do Fight! You can't even let me have peace in my palace. We're sorry, my king. I think it's about time I sent all of you packing out of this palace. Yes, about time I sent you packing! No. All they do is fight, fight, and fight for my things. Not one of them can give me a son. Your Majesty, you just got discharged from the hospital. I suggest you relax. You need adequate rest now. There's no place I can get any rest. Not even in my own palace. You can, Your Majesty. Only if you can take your mind and eyes off these things happening around you. Well, I wish I could. I really wish I could. You can, Your Majesty. Oh, 
Try to take some rest, Your Majesty. My king, we are all happy to have you back after a three days stay in the hospital bed. Here you are welcome home. Thank you. Thank you all. I was told what tremendous efforts you all made to see me through to recover my health. I was even told that some of you slept on hospital seats during the time. I'm really appreciative of it. Thank you very much. Igwe, uh, Igwe, we should be grateful to the cause of Uduma Kingdom for this great work. Otherwise, what we did could have been worthless if they had not wished you well again. Yes, the gods be praised. Well, once there is life, we have to move on. So, my elders, we must move on. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Your Highness, and then, uh, in moving on, I think we have to address this issue once and for all. Which issue is this, Ichi Okwako? Um, the issue that brought about your sudden health failure. Uh, since these women cannot give you an heir to the throne, I think the best thing is for us to Ignore them and they get another virgin for our king. Yes, Your Highness. Uh, Ichie Onou Okwako is right. Our <coughs> Igwe here has the right to marry as many wives as he wants. Exactly. Yes, provided he gets his desire. How many wives do you have in your compound? Um, your Highness, one. No but. No but. And how many do you have in your compound, Ichiechef? Um, your Highness, is one, but. I said no but. I am disappointed that you came here to discuss this item. Any time any of you raises such an issue with me anymore, I will... In fact, this meeting is over. Igwe, Your Highness. Igwe. 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 Where have we gone wrong? Huh? Where? I don't know. I wonder. You know the kind of trouble your wife gives you at home. Eh? You imagine when you have them three in the house. But they are trying to help him. It's for his own favor. For his own favor. Fools! 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 All they do is to push me to marry. 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 As if marriage was my problem. Send for me, my queen. You were on duty during the just concluded session in the king's court. Yes, my queen. And I believe you heard everything. Yes, my queen. So, why was the king upset? The points to get the, the king a fourth wife got him very upset, my queen. And who raised the point? Which of the others raised the point? Um, would you respect my queen? I am not expected to talk about anything that happens in the court as it is against the ethics of my job, my queen. I demand to know now. I'm sorry, my queen, I cannot betray my conscience. 
In other words, you are saying no to my demand. My queen, I'm very sorry. That demand I cannot grant. Get out. Thank you, my queen. Out! What is it? What do you want? Um, I'm sorry, my king. I overheard you talking and I wanted to inquire what the problem is. You really wish to know? Of course, my king. I need a son. Do you have any to give me? My, my, my king, I, I... Get out of this place. Get out before I lose my temper on you this instant. I'm sorry. Idiots! Idiots, all of you! All you do in this palace is to eat, drink, wear new clothes and expensive jewelry. Not one. Not one of you can give me a son, an heir to this throne. Idiots! I told you it was not necessary. But you didn't listen to me. What kind of life is this? I'm fed up. Akweza, what kind of, what sort of marriage is this? Royal marriage. You're married to King Odogu of Oduma Kingdom. Or could it be better than that? I should have known better. Fill the hands of me. I'm sorry, my king. How can you be my queen when you cannot give me a son? Ha. Tomorrow. I wish to know why I was summoned to this meeting. <laughs> um, Your Highness, I would like to speak as the mouthpiece of my fellow Ndiche. Go on, no work welcome. After our last meeting with you, we sat and decided that you should see reason with us. What reason, no know? Your Highness, I, I think you should give us some patience. Don't step on my toes or no work work on. It's really not my intention to do so. Uh, but at least, uh, I mean, you should hear us out. Let me help Ono Okwako. My king, whatever affects the eyes also affects the news. It is only a foolish man who rejoices over his brother's predicament. Your father was the only son of his father. You also turn out to be the only of your father. Right from the origin of Oduma Kingdom, Odogu family has never ceased to produce a king. 
Why should you change your own time? Mm. And so, to keep the ball rolling, I should fill the entire palace with wives and women. <coughs> you see, if there is any other way to eat, my king, believe me, would have loved to follow it. But as it stands now, there is no other way. Hmm. But has any of you thought about this from a different angle? Suppose the gods themselves are responsible for my inability to get a son and heir to this throne. Even if I married a dozen wives, they will still be having women and daughters. But why, my king? Why? Why would the gods deny you an heir? Why? That is the question we should be asking ourselves now. That is the question. Afana <coughs> 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 When an adult is tired of raising that which belongs to a toddler, he brings down his hands for a toddler to take what belongs to him. A kulo that flies so high has within his uh, mind the belief that he has outflown. When his weak feathers are worn out, he sees himself at the mercy of uh, the toad. There is nothing but blindness that makes the snail feels that his, jo his journey is an endless one. Where his eyes opened, he should have seen that he's only running circle and circle without starting the journey at all. Ezemo, you have spoken so much in riddles that we cannot even comprehend its relevance to why we are here. Um, can you speak to us in the language of men? Avana Guna no 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 but what he does not know is that it's only for a purpose and for an appointed time. Look at it. Ichi <sighs> go and tell the Igwe the outcome of our meeting with SMO. let's go. For a purpose and at an appointed time. For what purpose and at what appointed time? Uh, my king, that I didn't hear from him. This is not getting funny any longer, Chia Nazia. Not at all. I don't know. Um, what shall we do now? The purpose we do not know, but the appointed time we can manipulate. You see, Chianazir, I am not getting any younger. You are right. You are perfectly right. Ugoma, Akweza, I have called you both here and kept you standing so that you don't see me now in this court as here constituted as the man you married. But you see me as King Odogu of Oduma Kingdom, whose word is not challenged. 
I'd like you to listen attentively to what I'm going to say. We're listening, my king. You are both aware why you were brought into this palace. To bear me a son. My queen, Oledo, was not able so to do. And the doctors have said that if she tries any other delivery, she will not come out of it alive. According to our custom and tradition, children in the palace are not born out of caesarean operations. They must be born by natural delivery. Therefore, as it stands now, I don't have a queen because Oledo is not in a position to give me a son. That is why you are both here to give me a son, a prince, an heir to this throne. So I am giving you a golden opportunity, a final chance. Any of you who first gives me a son will become my queen. The other will have to live with Oledo. I am tired. I need a prince, a son, an heir to this throne. Give me a son, or else go with your daughters out of this palace. That is my decision. This is your choice. Take it or leave it. Do you understand me clearly? Yes, my king. Very well. Thank you. from you is an offering of thanksgiving with faith. Ah! Oh! Yes! Yes, Yeshua. Yeshua, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes. Yes. Bring up your thanksgiving materials into the house of Yeshua. He shall tell you the next way into your heart desire. Yes, sure. Yes, sure. Yes. Madam, your husband is under a course. A course? Uh, yes, a course. And no matter how many women he sleeps with, none can bear him a son. Hey, uh, see ya. What do we do now, eh? 
What do we do? Eh? See, nothing can be done to avert it. It is a perpetual cause and a everlasting one. Hey! See ya. Yes. Now, Just heed to my advice. That is all. You will find out what you see, okay? What is the advice? Okay. See, when next you come here, I will tell you what to do. Okay? You can go. Yeah. You can go. Thank, thank you, Sia. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Shouldn't you be with your daughter, woman? My king, the maids are with our daughter. I have no strength to waste. Please leave my chamber. My love, I only came to ask you to give me one more chance. Please, so I... So I can give you a son. I will not disappoint you this time around. Please, my husband. The doctor said that if you tried again, you will not come out of it alive. That was exactly what they said in my two deliveries before now. This time was different. You were in labor for one whole day. You kept me standing from morning till night. Any other attempt on it would be much more serious and could indeed be fatal. My king, my love, my husband, just one more chance, then I will give you a son. I have given up on you, Oled. My king. Yes. My king. My king. Please, my king. All I want from you is one more chance. I will never disappoint you. I will give you a son. My husband, it is my duty to give you a son. <coughs> Oledo, please leave my chamber and don't bother to come again on any other visit. I have given up on you. I have given up on you. No, 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 my king. My, my king, please don't, don't do this to me. I have seen all you brought. <clears throat> I have seen them. Your giving has touched the heart of Yahushua. And Yahushua is willing to give you your heart desire. you want to sleep with the king before he mounts on you make sure you rub this anointing oil on your private part it will wash away all the causes on him that has prevented him from having a son thank you very much prophet thank you may Joshua be praised forever I can't do this. No, I can't. Yes, I can. Igwe needs a son. And if that's the only way to give him a son, why are you going back? <laughs> Who says being the next queen of Oduma Kingdom is a crime? I can do it. What if Igwe finds out? 
No, 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 no. There is no way he will find out. Yes, I can. I can. Ah, oh, I'm sure that our love making this night will result in a son for this kingdom. I am too certain of that, my lord. Mm. Then come, come, my dear, and let's produce an heir for this kingdom. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, what is this? This is an anointing oil. Anointing oil? Yes. He told us to consult our goods. I consulted mine and he told me to rub this on my private part before you make love to me. Hmm. What for? This would break the curse that prevents me from giving you a son. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> In that case, I better rub some of it too on my manhood so that its magic will together ensure that we have an heir for this kingdom. Yes. All right. of all these things. I told you that this will boomerang, but you were hard, hardened by your ungodly quest for fame and wealth. I hope you are seeing the problem you, you've created for your daughter from the land beyond. I hope you are enjoying this whole series of events with me. to me as it pertains to a woman in her eggs, my king. I see. I understand that perfectly. But what I don't understand is, it never used to take that long before. Uh, patience, my king. Patience. All right. Yes, please don't be angry. Um, you, do you still have that pills you normally give to the king? The sleeping pills, you mean? Exactly. I really need it. I've not been able to sleep. Yes, I still have it. But why didn't you ask the maid to tell me about the pills since you asked her to call me? Please, I need you to get it. Please. Okay, I have to go back inside. Are you sure you're alright? Not really. I have this tearing headache. Well, I'll be fine. Okay, I'm really sorry about the headache. Just give me some time. I'll go get the pills, all right? But I asked her to wait for me. I 
told her she... I told her to give me some time. Did you see the king's second wife? What sort of a question is that? Are you well at all? Uh, no. It seemed to me like I am dreaming. What is it? I was in my room. One of the maidens came to me. She told me that the king's second wife wants to see me, that she needed my attention. I came outside, I saw her. She talked about being sick or feeling sick, that she needed some sleeping pills. So I asked her to wait for me while I go bring the sleeping pills. I got here and I cannot find her. <laughs> Is that why you're troubled? I asked her to wait for me and she's not here, so I'm confused. Maybe she wants you to bring it in her chambers. Her chambers? Go and get it. Her chambers? There you go, I was looking for you. Um, oh, what is it? Look, shh. Thank you. Do it with me. Do it. Do what? Do it, please. <laughs> Do it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is this some kind of a joke or something? <laughs> you requested for pills, right? Here they are. I'll leave. He cannot have it by himself. I need you to help me. Please. Please. I, I need it. I need it. Wait, 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 wait. How dare you? You want me to sleep with you, the king's wife? You want to kill me? Listen, I'll pretend none of this happened. Don't touch me again, please. You see my nakedness. You have two choices. It's either you sleep with me walk out of that door or you refuse you explain to the king what you're doing in my room at this time choose one mm. listen I, I, I understand how you feel right? but this is not the right one it's not I'm doing two I'm doing something three Abomination. Because he's not afraid. That is it. You know, I am completely speechless on this matter. Gary Rimonu. Why are we even deliberating on this issue? 
that young man, he said, nobody. It's not even a freeborn of Uduba Kingdom. So what do we waste our precious time deliberating on this issue? So Igwe, what are you saying? Send him to the executioners tomorrow, as the traditions demand. Please, there is something I wish to tell you. Go ahead. I was not in the room in the door of that incident. But well, prior to that time, Obeleze came to me and was telling me of how Ugoma woke him up, asking for peers. Hmm. Why are you telling me this story? Uh, Your Highness, maybe Ugoma. I don't know, but if you ask me, Your Highness, Abeliz is innocent. He did not do it. Are you accusing my wife of lying? How dare you? I'm sorry, my king. I'm sorry. I saw them with my own eyes in bed. How come you're telling me a cock and bull story? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Get out of this place now, before I suspect you of being an accomplice to the abomination. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Highness. him here for? Take him out. Your Highness, he wishes to speak with you. I don't want to hear anything from him. No, 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 stop. My king, my king, please. He, he, he wants to speak to you. What do you have to say? And you better be fast about it. Thank you, my queen. Your Highness, I'm not here to plead for my innocence because I do not have enough Evidence to prove to you that I'm innocent. I do not have anything against you either. Because I know you are acting. Because of what you heard or you probably saw. What I saw with my two eyes. I'm just here to make one wish. Which is, I beg you in the name of the gods. Let me see my mother before I die. I'm the only son she has. I don't know what will become of her if I die. I have a message for her, Your Highness. Please let me see her, please. I don't have such time. Take him away. Now! My spirit will never forgive you! If I die without seeing my mother!
couldn't forgive myself for killing an innocent boy. Opaleze was innocent. I lied against him. Your craving for a son led me into the wrong place. I was told to sleep with one of the guards. That's the only way you could have a son. I only wanted to make you happy, Igwe. I did not intend to shed innocent blood. <laughs> Goodbye, Igwe. It's necessary for me to go in there and have a word with him. No. No, not at all. He will be fine. Oh, if you say so. Uh, we only want to know what happened to Goma's body. <sighs> the king ordered that it should be thrown into the evil forest at once yesterday. That's right. Uh, in that case, I, I shall be with the elders immediately. the one going with me? Yes, my king. No. Go and call up Alessia. Yes, my king. My king. Must it be up Alessia? You did not know how much I love that boy. Why don't you take him as a 
as a fourth wife. His name of Baleza gives me the hope that one day I'll have a prince in this palace. I'm sorry, my king. The queen gave the order. I am now giving you a standing order. You go with me today, and indeed, every other day. Understood, my king. The palace needs a prince. But your highness, I'm already in the palace. A prince not by the name of Malaysia. I mean a prince by birth. But your highness, a prince is a prince, whether by birth or by name. Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> Malaise. Oh, Malaise. Will your spirit ever forgive me? Oh, oh, you sent for me. Mm, I want you to go to the my kingdom for me. Oh, my kingdom? No, I'm sorry, I can't go. That place is too far. I was even wondering why you have to send your son up Malaysia to go that far uh, to work. No, I, I can't do that. Don't know. Be cool. hmm? Since six months now, I have not heard from my son. He does come on Christmas Eve. He did not come. He did not send any message. Eh? But Malaysia is your friend. Eh? Please, I want you to go and see if all is well with you. I am worried. I think you better go there yourself. Oh. Mom. Hola, God forbid. Oh, you will not go to my kingdom, but you want to go to go, to go for you. I'm sorry, I can't do it. If, if that was why you called me, I'm sorry. I, I can't do it. Ugo, ma. Ugo, please. Ugo, come. Ma. Hola, man. Who is that? It's me, oh. It's one Ingo. Hey. <laughs> How are you? How are you? I'm fine. Uh, please, there's this my cassava farm that wants you to come and harvest for me. Ah, hey. Which one? Is it the one uh, beside Timbele's land? Mm -mm, it's not that one. There's this my farmland at Okiba. Okiba? Mm. Ah, do you have a land at Okiba? Hey, you don't know the place. You've not been there before. But I'll show you the place. Okay. Mm. How much will you pay me now? Uh, you know the way we usually do it now. We'll divide the cassava into four. You will take one, I will take three. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. Okay, so when are we going? Now! That's why I'm here. I came to check if you're less busy. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it? I was preparing to go to Oduma Kingdom to, to do some certain things. But this one you are saying that you want it today. Don't worry, I will do the job first mm -hmm. because I need good. money. <laughs> There's never a time you don't need money. You eh? will not understand. <laughs> eh? If you understand it, it won't be meaningful again. Don't worry, let me bring my tools. Eh? Okay. Eh. Please hurry. You. Eh, don't worry, I'm okay. Eh. Eh, 
I hope you lost it, bro. Don't worry. Do I have anything? <laughs> I don't have anything. From here down, from that place. Eh? Do you understand? The head. So, come and stand. Yeah. I was thinking that this farmland belongs to Mazi Abalanza's wife. You mean Mbako? Eh? Mban, this is my farmland. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. But I used to see her and her two sons farming on this farmland. <laughs> well, that is true. But early this year, eh, mm. my son bought this farmland from Mazi Abalanza. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Please, no, no problem, it's okay. I will do the job. Eh, no problem. All right. Eh? Okay. Eh? <laughs> so I'll be waiting for you in the house. You eh? don't have to. Eh? Eh? Before two hours, eh? I will finish the whole thing. I trust you. I'm the queen of the week. They eh? respect me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Eliza, give me five. Okay, take five. Mm -hmm. Ibia, <laughs> tell me how did it go? I told you I am going to send out of that vi this village. Have I you told you that? before, Uncle. Chai, as I'm talking to you now, she is busy stealing on Wako's cassava tubas. Oh, Mukunese. Mm -hmm. huh? By now, people must have seen her. Yes, uh -huh. that serves her right. Imagine one boy. Can you imagine? That slave of yesterday. Next time, she would know how to talk in public. Huh. Huh? Was she born here? Mm -hmm. No. Did she marry from this place? Ne, no. Ne, no. Ne, ne, hey. ah, ah. Just because we allowed her into the woman that's meeting. In fact, she needs to be thrown back to where she came from. Ozubo, Ozubo. What are you talking about? Hey! Hey! Eliza, find me hey. something to put Let me give you something. Mm -mm. Huh? I want something cold. Give me something to put down. Madam, what are you doing here? Harvesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Number one. You have been doing in this village. Eh, what? What, what, what am I doing? Stop pretending as if you don't know what I'm saying. Eh? Who owns this cassava you're harvesting? My young boy told me to harvest cassava for her. Eh. So, ever since he started living in this village, you are not aware that my young boy has no farmland here. Eh? Does this look like my young boy's farmland? She, 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 she told me. Liar like you. She, 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 she. She told you what? Hey! Me. Olamma. A thief. Mum. Obala is my son. Everybody knows him in this village. I also have a son. But I did not train him to abuse him. Hey! I trained my children to disrespect their elders. But we must surely get to the end of this today. Yes, Mama, we must. We must. Nonsense. What mama. are you talking about? I don't understand what you are talking about. What, what are you talking you about? See, Mama, it's, it's, mama, it's okay. okay. My it's okay. okay. <laughs> why uncle, why uncle is in Elisa's shop? Eh. Let's go and meet her. Mama, what are you talking? Let's go and meet her. Let's go and meet her. Let's go. Yes. No, no, no. Let's go. 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 let us uh, my uncle, hmm? it's you we actually came to see. Again. Hmm. Are you the one that asked uh, Olamma to go to my farmland and harvest my cassava for you? Me? Are you the one? Me. Did what? Hmm. Hey, Olamma. Uh -huh. You mean she has finally been caught red handed? Oh. oh. This woman has been stealing from farmland to farmland in this community. Hey? And nobody wants to talk. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. Me. 
Me all am ma. Yes. Stealing. Eh? Hey. Why are you please now? Eh? Talk to them now. Why are you keeping quiet? Eh? Why well, you not know the one that told me that your son bought the land from Mbaku and her husband? Me? Was that your dream or what? Was it your dream? Come, if you were caught stealing in somebody's farm, better apologize to them. Yes! Don't look at somebody to point at her. Apologize to her. Apologize to her. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Please. Hey, hey, hey. You can't do this. Hey, hey, hey. Stop. Stop. I am begging you. Mama, you know what I told you? You said you so. This woman is a thief. Oh. Hey. What do you get from this? Okay, is it this my hand? Okay, to let's go. We must surely go. Let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. I will tell you to carry it. Let's go. Carry it, carry it. I will go. not accept this apology. Carry it. Let's go. 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 Let
Can you swear? Wonder shall never end. Eh? Olama, how can I tell you to go and harvest another woman's cassava for me? Am I mad? Eh? Edas, don't mind this woman. She's a thief. Oh! She has been stealing from farmland to farmland. <laughs> and today, your sins have finally found you out. Tell her! It's alright, it's alright. It's okay, it's okay. We all know that this community harbors strangers. They take them as their brothers, as their sisters. And now that all our good deeds are being mis misconstrued, we shall go back and say no mm -hmm. to any stranger. Mom. Yes! Anyway. We don't want strangers again. We don't want oh. them. Uh, but, oh no, she has a point. Eh? This woman has a point. Which point? She has been living in this community peacefully for a very long time. So why start now? And then? It's all right. If you understand me properly, I said here that we don't want to judge her whether she stole cassava or not. All we are saying is that if you go to someone's house and you overstay your welcome, that person asks you to go. You should go. Yes. You don't need to be told two times to go. To go. In go! Fact, in fact, yeah, all I'm I'm has go! go! Yes! I wake up! But I'm going to go. You must go! You must go! You must go! 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 Hell. God. What kind of life is this? Where do I go from here? God. Is wandering my destiny. Tell me. to keep this clothes. Mm -hmm. I will come back for them. Let me go to my kingdom and uh, look for your friend or others. Let me tell him what is going on. Huh? At least so that he won't come back to us and our kingdom and start looking for me again. It's, it's, it's okay. I, I, I will look after your clothes. Yeah, I, I will still come back for the clothes. Huh? 
Please come. Let me tell you. Don't mind that one uncle and a friend Eliza. Don't just mind them at all. We all in this village, we know the truth. We know that you're not a thief. No. Thank you very much. I know that the gods are watching them. You will definitely judge them someday. Please. I will still come back for the clothes, huh? Okay now, will you take a laser for me, eh? I will. Right. Okay, bye bye. Please, I advise you go home. What? I am up and I say, I want to see my son. If I can't see Igwe, I can see my son. <laughs> Mom, why are you crying? Up and is dead. Tell me what's going on here. Ask her. Ask her and her wicked mother. Mama, I'm ready. What are you wearing? Okay, will you go back and change into something better? What's wrong with what I'm wearing now? It's not to go to Ori Market here. I'm not going for a function. So you are in this town and you have not heard what is happening? Eh? Haven't you seen how other guests are dressing out these days? Mama, I'm not seeing anything. You have not even heard that uh, Prince Odogu is in town. His mother went and brought him down after the death of his father so he can choose a wife from Oduma Kingdom here. For more than one week, he has been going around looking for a wife. Don't you want to be a queen? I don't want to be a queen. Old man has so many damsels. You should go and choose any of them for a wife. I'm not interested. Up? Will you shut up? Shut up your mouth, John. Go in there and change into something better. Nah. Ma, let me go like this now. Ma, there is nothing wrong with what I'm wearing now. Nah. Why do you want me to do anything? Uh, the and see if you won't start jumping up if he chooses you. Are you sure the prince went this direction? Yes, I am very sure. We have to hurry up. No, no, no. Let's walk gently. He must come back by this road. And he will say things here. We are not too sure. What if he decides to take the Ihingodo road? So what are you saying? Let's hurry up and see if we can meet him. What? Why didn't the prince summon all the girls in this kingdom to the palace? Like his father and the kings before him did. It would have been easier for him to choose a bride 
Why all the girls are gathered at the place? I heard he said he wants something different and natural too. Natural? How do you mean natural? If he summons all the girls, we will want to dress in our best. In that way, he might make a wrong choice, so he wants something natural. In that case, we shouldn't have dressed this way. All these makeups, they don't look natural. We should have appeared with that makeup. Please, 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 that's left for you. If you want to wear off your makeups, that's your business. As for me, I'm going just the way I am. No, 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 no. come. Come now, it's this way. It's this way. Son, you've not told me anything meaningful. Time, mother. A little more time is all I ask of you. <laughs> time. Time, they said, waits for no one. It's exactly two weeks you've been searching for this girl. I know. I will still find her mom. When? When? The throne of Oduma Kingdom has been empty ever since your father joined his ancestors. Are we going to search for eternity for this girl? No, not for eternity. As a matter of fact, my spirit tells me I will find her soon. Okay, so I am beginning to lose it. I am beginning to lose it. Mother, please. Mother, a little more time. Son, I am beginning to lose it. A little more time, mom. Time is what we do not have. Time is what we do not have here. Get that into your skull. Rubbish. Before I could get to Ikpandu Forest, some girls had already gotten there before me, so I had to trek to Ohiago Forest and pack the firewood. Some girls had gone there before you because you are a lazy girl. They got there before you. And look at the small firewood you were able to fetch. If you had gathered a lot, you wouldn't need to go back there tomorrow and waste my time. I'm sorry, no. Before I shut my eyes and open them, eh, you would have gone to fetch water for me. Eh? Look at the time I haven't even started cooking. What kind of a foolish girl is this? I will soon come back now. Be ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I wait for you to come back and you run, don't want to feed them. I will kill you. Come get out. Fool. Agama kosaru wa monye obo twa kamsi weje odege mmalo de mumma chibo uwa fufu uwa kwa ifisi ke somaga odege mmalo de mumma chibo agama kosaru wa monye obo twa kamsi weje odege By this time, what can I Is it not now that uh, Olama is coming back from fetching firewood? She has gone to fetch water. There's no water for me to cook with. You mean I will continue to wait until Olama comes back from the stream before you cook for me? Huh? No, will I cook with my urine? What was Oledo doing when Olama went to fetch firewood? She would have gone to fetch water at the same time. No, how can Oledo go to fetch water for that slave girl? She doesn't even know who her parents are. You want her to sit down and eat my food for nothing? Why my daughter will be going on errand for her? That is not possible now. Because you can't have a tank. You can't have a tank. Will you give me money to go and buy water from tank? Yeah, I'll be a super man. You have to wait now until she comes back. Because me, I, I can't use my hand. You don't have any machine to give me. Thank you. 
How are you? Fine, thank you, my prince. What is your name? My name is Ola. Ola? Ola? Yes, my prince. That's a good one. Are you from this kingdom? Yes, my prince. From what kindred? I Isiato kindred. Isiato kindred. Which family? Mwandu family. Mwandu. What is your father's name? Maziyanyao, my prince. Oh, Maziyanyao. That's good. That's good. You are a very beautiful girl. Thank you, my prince. We shall come back for you, Ola, the favored one. My prince, please, can I be on my way now? Thank you. I saw her. I saw her, mom. Really? I did. Really? Yes. Yes. The same picture I used to see in my dream. Every time I dreamed about this palace, I saw her flesh and blood. Did you speak with her? Oh, yes, mom, I did. Her name is Ola. She's from the Wando family okay. of the Seattle kindred. Okay. Her father's name is Ayawu. Last, I am settled. I told you. I told you I was going to find her. I feel so happy, so happy, so fulfilled. I am happy for you, son. I am happy for you. So, when I see you soon, mom. I met the prince today. He spoke to me. What? Hey, are you serious? And I, I met him at Yingodo, Yingodo Road. He stopped me and started asking me plenty, plenty questions. Plenty, plenty questions? Like what? Uh, what is my name? Where am I from? Things like that. What did you tell him? I hope you didn't tell him that you're a slave. No, I told him that my father is Anyawu and that I'm from this kindred. Hi. So, and, and what else did he say? He said he will come for me. <laughs> You're very lucky. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> ah, I'm so happy for you. Tai. Hmm. Small word. After all those girls that were flirting around him, he didn't even choose any of them. For a wife. It is you that did not even apply anything on your face that he chose. Just like that. You're very lucky. You. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> what happened yesterday? I don't understand. What did you tell her yesterday? Oh, okay. That this, the prince spoke to me. Did he? No, no I, I did not go to him. Oh. He just stopped and started asking me questions. What did you tell him? My name and Papa's name. Which Papa? My husband? Yes, no. What name did you give him? Ola. Just that? Just that, no. Ola. Good. Now listen. Hold your ears. The prince did not see you yesterday. He saw my daughter, Olido. Hmm? If I ever hear you discuss with anybody, not even my husband, what transpired between you and, and the prince? Hi. No, I swear. I swear. I will not tell anybody else. It's only Olido I told. I swear. Better for you. Grand what? You must 
must do it too. I don't even know what you're talking about. See, if you allow this single golden opportunity to pass us by, I, what I will do to you? Hmm? You regret being my daughter. Try it. Mama, what are you even talking about? Are you trying to say that the man did not, the, he, he cannot recognize the person he saw? He does not know. He cannot recognize. He does not know. You are the one he saw. So it must be. You are the one he saw. Hmm. Mama, it was not me that he met. I don't want any embarrassment to. I don't want embarrassment to, Mama. Who is going to embarrass you? In the whole of his here at all, Kindred, there's only one one the family. In the whole of one the family, there's only one Anyangu. And Anyangu has one daughter. Her name is Ola, which is you. Not me. Mama, it's not me. Mme, the food is ready. Should I come bring it? Come, give me the Hey, Don't, don't tell me. Safe? Yes, you are. This is Anya Mo's compound. I am Anya. Good. Give us it. We come in peace. We come in peace. Yes. Yes. We sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Like you already know, we came from the King's Palace. This is why he sent us to you. She sent you to me. What did I do? Your daughter has found favor in the eyes of the prince. Simple. This is why he instructed us to come and pick her so that she will have a word with her. Are you sure you are not mistaken? Because I have only one daughter. And I don't think that uh, Prince Odobu has seen her before. What is your daughter's name? Oledo. Call her. Call her. She knows what we are saying. Mm -hmm. Ola! Ola! Oledo! This man came from the palace and they said that uh, as and why I sent them to come and bring you to the palace. Have you seen the prince before? Yes, Papa. I I saw him one day on the road. One day when I I wanted to go and buy something. So he told me that he's coming to see my parents. <laughs> but you didn't care to tell your father. I, I told Mama. You told your mother and she never told me. Well, go and prepare so that you follow them. I don't want the the as I want to be waiting for you. Whatever. Go and dress up. Fast, 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 fast. Uh, Nietzsche, please don't mind my manners. Uh, you know. Uh, he, he can tell, but I don't want to tell. <laughs> oh, we're caught at it. <laughs> Let me look for color for you. Because this is a good news. You don't Mama, I don't think I can do this. So I can't do this. Shh. Why are you talking like this? You can. Just go maintain that you were the one he saw. He was come. Mama, we do not look alike. I and Olama do not look alike. See, he does not know anybody. Make him believe he saw you when he was in his good news. Everybody will believe you. 
people will think his eyes deceived him. Just go. What about if he disgraces me? Mama, I can't do that. Where is this girl? She's coming now! Father, no mother, no brother, no sister, no uncle. <sighs> when it is time for Aaron, I will be the first to be called upon. Now the king, now the queen wants a daughter-in-law. They are doing everything to get me out of the way. My prince, my prince, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, the love we found in each other was just not meant to be. I'm sorry. You are welcome to the King's Palace. Thank you, Isabel. You shall be staying with me for the period of seven days so that I can acquaint you with some royal ethics and values. Oh, there he comes. You're welcome, my prince. Who are you? Uh, uh, my prince, I'm Ola. Which Ola? Is she not the girl you were talking about? No, mom. They must have brought the wrong person. Have you met with him before? Yes, my queen. I, I, I met him on the road four, four days ago at Iyengodo Road. You met who? You, my prince. She's lying, mom. I don't know her. You people should take me out of here. I, I don't like this kind of embarrassment, though. Ichie Mundo. As am I. In this Siago kindred, there is only one Mando family. Inside that Mando family, there is only one Manyam. The man Manyam told us that he has just one daughter by name, Ola. Here is she, standing before us. Did you hear that, Prince Odogu? Well, if, if she's the girl I met, then uh, she, she must have been the wrong girl. I'm sorry, Mom. I, you must have to give me more time to continue. Never! I don't have more time to waste for this. You have made your choice. She is your bride. The throne needs to be occupied. I have spoken. For her to buy all these things for you, I don't need to be told. <laughs> you know what? She even told me that they'll be coming for my wine carrying very, very soon. In fact, she said it's next week. I can't wait to, Mama. You see? You're happy now. When I told you to go and see her, you refused. You are doing mess, man. Now you're jumping on. Mama, I didn't even tell you. You don't know what happened. If not for my persistence, like you told me, to back the elders. Hmm. The prince ordered that she throw me out of the palace at once. I told you that everybody will support you. See? I'm back. Okay, will you get out of here? Go and cook. And make sure that food is ready before my husband comes back. Oh. You see my phone? I'm telling you. Hey. Do you know that? I refuse to let her out of this house for seven days now. She has been in this house. She has not stepped anywhere outside there. I was in all the chores by myself. Mama, 
Why now? Ah, you want me to take chances? By chance, the prince will leave the palace and bump into her again. Uh, no, Mama. The prince does not leave the palace anymore. Whatever. I have wonder. And I don't want to see her legs anywhere near the road that leads to that palace. Anytime I see her around that area, she will leave this village and will never come back. Mama, do you know that my heart grips me each time I remember the, the wickedness that we've afflicted on this girl? I think there is going to be a payback time. Oh, of course. This is payback time. What do you have in your hands? You see, we already paid. We are already paid. My son. Your daughter is as healthy as the queen. A girl? Yes. What kind of fate is this? My daughter having complications with delivery all the time. The worst is her inability to give birth. To a mere child. Hey. You called me. My wife went to the palace unprepared. Eh? And I know she'll be needing the items to bring her. Please take it to her in the palace. Eh? Palace? Nay, Mbao. What do you mean by that? Nay, I have never trekked on the road leading to the palace before. Not to talk of entering inside the palace. Ha! God forbid, oh. <laughs> oh, Lama. <laughs> Nobody knows that you are not a free boy. Eh? Just comport yourself well when you get to the palace, eh? Take it. Nay, Biko, I'm not going, Biko. Hey! Let me see. I'll rush to the palace and send it to my wife mm -hmm. before it night comes. Uh -uh. Have children. See, you will have a boy at the appointed time. Appointed time? Yes. When will appointed time come? Is it is it when the king must have thrown me out of the palace? Is that when the appointed time will come? Mama, I, I can't you get it? I, I need a son to succeed the king. It's okay, don't worry. <sighs> Nobody will throw you out. Nobody, my daughter. Nobody. See, he's only drinking. 
He will drink away his pains very soon. Oh, it's okay. Three daughters, after all the labor. Daughter, daughter, daughters, nothing! Just the guard at the gate. You didn't need to come to the palace. You should have given this to the guard at the palace instead of coming here. Are you stupid? Now leave. Leave. I want to tell you what you're saying. I want to tell you what you're saying. I want to tell you what you're saying. God. Don't let the police see you.
your Ola. Your one and only Ola. Which other Ola are you looking for again? My Ola that came into this palace last night. Nobody came into the Where is the girl that slept with me last night? Oh, your highness. You were actually drunk. <laughs> Nobody came into this palace yesterday. Nobody. What? What? Are you... What are you people talking about? Mama, I'm, I'm finished. Mama, I'm finished. Shh. Fear, fear. Mama, can't you see that he will find out? Find out how? He will find out who? How is he going to find out? Is he a wizard? Did anybody copy him? Yes, now. Mama, oh, Mama, will... shut, shut, shut up. Shut up, your mouth. Nobody came in here. You are the only Olama here. No other Olama came in. Hmm. Hey, hey, hey. Mama. What about if he goes to goes to, to the guards to find out? <laughs> I've taken care of that a long time ago. It may work. Which of you saw a young girl that came into this palace last night? Who was at the gate last night? I was at the gate, my prince. You you mean you did not open the gate for any young lady last night? No stranger entered his palace last night. What is going on here? Get out! I am very sure of what I'm talking about, Mom. How can you be sure? Did she fly into this place? You see, I was drunk, I know. But I'm sure I made love to her last night. You know, she, she, she told me that her mom gave me her sister in her place. Yes, I, I, can, I can remember everything now. That's what she said. You know what? You need a doctor. Yes, you need a doctor. This, this your dream girl is beginning to cause a lot for you. Believe me, mom. Believe me. How can I believe you? How can I believe you? I made inquiries myself. And I was told that Mazi Anyang has only one daughter, Ola. So what other sister was she telling you about? Like I said, you need a doctor. <laughs> Who told you to come to the palace? It, it, it was not me, it was Nai. I refused to go, but Nai forced me. Ola, Nai told you to go. Go to the palace so you can see the prince. Eh? You want the prince to see you? So he can throw out my, my, my daughter from the palace, isn't it? Your, your, your oh! 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 Come back here! Come here! Come here! Oh, no, no. You are leaving this village today. Today! No, please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I will not do it again. Please. Hey! Nicole, my happy It's my husband marrying both of us. Are you my mate? Eh? Leave my house now! You could be a bianna. I don't need you anymore. Please, please. Nah, nah, please, when do you want me to go to? I don't have any shelter. I don't have anybody. Please, I'm sorry. Okay, you have made my house your permanent shelter. Did I adopt you? Eh? <laughs> Leave my house. <laughs> go to the bush where animals like you stay. Go, 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 go. I can see it's tonight that is giving you the power to fight me back. If
God. What kind of life is this? Why did you bring me into this world to suffer like this? God. What will you profit or gain from me suffering like this? The little glimpse of light that shone upon me has finally multiplied my sorrows. God, why? Why? You must tell me where you sent that girl to. I am not obliged to answer that question because you don't even know where I bought the girl from. You don't know where she came here or how she came into this place. She's not your business. You are my wife. And anything that is under this roof is directly under my custody. And you must tell me where you sent that girl to without my consent. That girl is also my responsibility. Huh? Yes. Hey, nine. How many years ago again? A girl I bought when you were still in active sub service in Sapele. It's not your responsibility. You have not told me what your mind is telling you about that girl. I'm beginning to look you with inner eyes. Your soul nature, your soul nature. Whatever you are thinking about it, you are free. But you must tell me why you sent out that poor, innocent girl to. And where you sent her to. You must tell me now. Where did you send? I better keep up with you. What are you going to do? Sammy. Okay. No problem. Uh, Oga. Okay. <laughs> I sent her back to a kill family where I bought her from. That's where she is. A kill family. Back to Zenga. Why? <laughs> I don't need her services anymore. Huh? Is it not me that bought her? Did I buy her for? Uh, for me to adopt her. She's just my slave girl. After I used her, I sent her back. They turned back to send her. <laughs> All the malicious treatments. You'll be meting her to that poor, innocent, helpless orphan. <laughs> hey, on the day of reckoning, don't call me. Ah, but when I'm, I can't Oh, no problem. Uh, don't, don't answer. Why should he even answer? Are you God? It's only God that is our answer. Okay, man. Okay, man. Don't go and use the last money we have to drink, oh. Don't go and use the last money we have to drink. If he seeks a maga, or dig him an audible machima. Ne, they were. Please, can I help you? Who are you? My name is Ola. Ola from where? It's a long story. I was sold out at a tender age as a slave. I don't know my mother. I don't know my father. The woman who took me in in Oduma Kingdom threw me out of her house and out of Oduma Village. I slept in this bush last night. I don't have any house. I don't know anybody. Please, all I ask from you, my sister, is just shelter. Shelter over my head. Please, I will render any manner of service you want me to render. Please, I beg you. Please. This is Isiago village. Here in Isiago, we don't have all slaves and strangers. I will advise you go to Ozala community. It's two villages from here. They are known for harboring slaves. They can even assign you a portion of land to build that if, if you're not a personable character. 
this wise Ozala community. You see that road there? Take back the road that brought you to this place. Take it straight by your left. You will cross the first and second river. First and second river. going to sleep in that hut. Why not come and stay in my house? I have an uh, extra room there. Just go and do with this.
No, madam. Mm. This is wickedness. A woman in this condition is not supposed uh, to do this kind of job. Don't worry. Let me look out for another person. Oga, 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 Biko, if you're really concerned about my situation, then give me this job. Please, I beg you. I need money now more than ever. I need to buy babies for my coming child. I need to get a shelter before I put to bed. I need to pay my landlord. Please, Biko, I beg you. I, be I beg you, please help me. I would... Oga, don't look at this pregnancy. Oh. I will work very well, Oga. that sees into the land of the dead. I have come to inquire from the gods why my daughter keeps having complications at delivery and why she has not been able to have a male child. I <coughs> I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. I am surprised you are asking this. The gods are very angry with you and your daughter for what you did to the boss. You are shouting, come No, the gods are angry with you. Can they be a peace or sacrifice? No amount of sacrifice can appease on this issue. Your daughter shall remain in her pains and misery until the rightful owner of that crown she's wearing takes back what belongs to her. But all Lama is nowhere to be found. And there's no how she can come back to this kingdom. It's impossible. <laughs> the gods are wise, woman. The gods are wise. And so have they decreed and so shall it be. That's a lie. How can they decree it like that? No. Uh, uh, how, how, can, how can the gods decree such a thing for me? But no, no. Anyway, my daughter is already the, the, the law. law. And there's nothing <laughs> anybody can do about it. Nobody can take it away from her. That is a lizard's bravery of you. How can a male mortal challenge the decision of the gods? I said, 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 I said,
the gods of your village. Are junior to the powers I command. I know. That's why I came. Your daughter. We shall break the yoke. Your daughter shall be free. She shall give the king a male child. Oh. I trust your powers. <laughs> you whatever you will become when you grow up, whether rich or poor. What destiny are you talking about? The one that is waiting for you at Unduma Kingdom. But my destiny waits for no one. Your destiny can meet you anywhere. It doesn't matter where. My destiny can meet me in this village. I don't have to travel as far as Unduma for my destiny to meet with me. What's best for me is to go to an unknown king, a total stranger, begging him to allow me walk in his palace. Mama, what if he throws me out? He cannot throw you out. <sighs> Mama, you're very confident. You sound like you're very sure. I am very sure. Very, very sure, my dear. What makes you very sure? Because that is where your destiny lies, my son. What exactly do you want, young man? I'm here to work, my lord. I'm ready to work as a cook, a guard, a laundryman, a vine dresser. I'm ready to do anything you want me to do, my lord. <laughs> and what makes you think that I don't already have these people in my service? I know you do, my lord, but I'm desperate to work for you, my lord. Are you better than all the young men from Uduma Kingdom who have no jobs? 
No, my lord. Then, why would you travel all the way from Ozara community to the kingdom to get a job in this palace? Because my mother told me my destiny is here, my lord. Your mother? Yes, my lord. Who is your mother? My mother is a slave woman in Ozara community. She is there as we speak. Then, young man, go and tell your mother that I have no space in this palace for strangers or slaves. Get up and leave now. Thank you, my lord. Hmm. By the way, what is your name? My name is Opaleze, my lord. Opaleze. Opaleze. <laughs> I can understand better now. Your mother is apparently aware that when they, we need a prince in this palace. Opaleze. Well, you're welcome, Abeleza. Well, thank you, my lord. But my lord, does that mean I'm getting a job? of my mother. She lured me into it. You deceived me all these years? Look at how you and your selfish mother have ruined my kingdom. My entire life! If I leave and come back, I do not want to see you anywhere near this palace. Otherwise, what I will do to you, uh, only the heavens can tell. My king, my king, my king, please forgive me. Please forgive me. It's not my fault. It is not my idea. It is the idea of my mother. Forgive me, my king. Alright, oh, I will live. I will live in one piece, my king. Yes. Leave. It will be all right. Stop crying. It will be all right. I believe we will have another son. Take it easy. It will be all right. Greetings, my Ernest. Yes. There is something I would like to tell you. What is it? I think it's of good news. What is the good news? Opel is still alive. He was not killed. Shh. What? This will be a priest. Osegiri. Hey! Help him down now. Help you. What, 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 what do you mean by that? What is going on? I can't say I watch you. Kill an innocent man. How bellez is innocent? What, what are you saying, Mr. Man? That is not the point. The point is the king has given an order and you don't have the right to question the king's, the king's order. Let's help him down now, please. Please, please my brother, please. Please. please, please, please. Hey. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> 
Now tell the king that he has been killed and buried. Hey, God. What if somebody was watching us? Eh? No one saw us. Come to think of it, why are you even? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? My dear, the destiny of this young man is on our head. My spirit tells me that one day the truth will be open. Hopeless is innocent. My brother, how are we going to keep this thing away from the king and the entire people of Uduma Kingdom now? I know of a priest. Who always take a pilgrimage to Jerusalem? He might be of help to us. Take me to my mother. Huh? Was like a kingdom. Mr. Man, shut up! Shut up! Dead men don't go to see their people. They either go to hell or to heaven. Let's help him now, please. Huh? Please, let's help him. Huh? Huh? Oh, thank you. Thank you, my brother. Help him, please. Sorry, my brother. You're fine, eh? Help him, please. 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 And where can we find the priest? At St. Patrick's Church. Hey! Gods of our land. I thank you. My son is still alive. Obanese is still alive. Father, please. I beg you in the name of God. I must see my mother before we travel out of this country. Please. Dead men. Don't see dead people. Either they go to hell or heaven. You are dead, remember? Hmm. I see. So does that mean you're taking me to heaven? Sister Mary! Sister Mary! The young priest left for Jerusalem some months ago. And uh, I'm sure the boy in question must have gone with him. Uh, Father, is there no way we can get in touch with them? Phone calls, email, even internet chat. It's very, very important. The king needs him, please. It's all right, I've heard you. I shall try my best. Please do, huh? You know? I will. Um, Benedict! Yes, sir. Uh, please get me the uh, files for the last pilgrimage, okay? Okay, Father. Sit down. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Many years ago, we were together in bed like this. That was the evening that the seed was sown of the birth of our son, Obaneza. <laughs> but when I woke up, I could not see you anymore. You vanished. I did everything possible to tell everybody that someone spent the night with me. But nobody believed me. Anyway, <laughs> destiny has brought us back together again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the first time you spoke to me 30 years ago, you took my heart away. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I never believed that anybody could say any good thing in a dirty commoner and a slave mm. like me. Mm. But the night we made love, it became clear to me that we were made for each other. Mm. 
but I was so afraid. So I disappeared. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to explain to you that uh, I am not a freeborn, but a slave girl. Mm. So I decided to let fate take it full course. But today, mm. I am happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was not cursed after all. Mm -mm. I do indeed have a son. Yes. An heir, a prince, not just by name, but by real birth. <laughs> <laughs> a son, an heir, a prince. Wonders shall never end. I heard Olama is now staying in the palace. I also heard she will soon be crowned the newest Zewan of Udu, my kingdom. Eh? Eh? You see? You see why it's not good to be wicked? How do you mean? How do I mean? Yes. Was it not your wickedness? Shh. You wanted her out from this village by all means. Now she has left. Eliza, it's now about me, not us. Was I the only person who planned it? I don't want to hear that thing again, no. You and who? Please, don't just involve me in this matter at all. Hey. Yes, Olama is now one million times better than you. You and your daughter will die in poverty. Okay, Eliza, you are trying to exempt yourself. Is that what you're trying to do? It's you and your family that will die in poverty. My family? Yes, your family. What has my family got to do in this? What has my daughter got to do with this? Oh, yeah. Fine, Kwabi, now. I will not. Get out of my shop. Mampo! Oh. Get out of my I shop! I will not. I will not. Why are you going? Come on, come. Why are you going? Leave my, leave my shop. I will not. I will not, Elizabeth. Leave my shop. I will not. And if you call my family again, I will not. If you call my daughter again, see what I will do to you. What is wrong with you? Go. You said we can't do Go. We can't do Go. Go. As the owner of this community, this is my judgment. For two of you to fight each other in this peaceful community, you are find one big goat. Seven tubas of yam. Yes. Hey. Exactly. Oh. Hi. No one in this community should talk to your husband, your children. They will not sell to you or buy from you. Hey. Until you pay all this. Hey. And for you, one, 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 for you to lie against an innocent woman, you are giving extra fine of one big cow. Hi. You must pay it. Between now and 21 days. <laughs> no! Yes. Or else you will be banished from this community. <laughs> Your punishment is even small. Please, my ass. You made us send an innocent woman away from this community, which has never happened. <laughs> Where will I get money to buy all these items now? You see? Oh. You should be grateful to your gods. You should be grateful to your gods. You deserve to be killed. Oh. You are evil. Yeah. Shut up your mouth, I'm talking and you're crying. Oh, my God. 
specific reasons. In the first place, I want to thank God that my health has come back to me. <laughs> Secondly, I want to thank God that peace has returned into the royal household. And finally, that Udba Kingdom has cause to celebrate that we now have a queen of Udba land. And what we have been searching for on the rooftop had been with us right on the ground floor. I have the pleasure to introduce to you the Royal Prince. Prince Apalenze. We have a lot to celebrate. And in the next market day, I'd like each of you elders to ensure that the whole kingdom is represented. Every quarter, every village, every kindred, every family must assemble and bring their musicians and dancers to celebrate. All the young maids of the kingdom will come and escort a queen on a parade in the market. And all the young men in their various age grades will come and escort our oh, prince on his parade around the ground and we have a formal coronation and acceptance and reception of them. This is why I have called you. I want you to relax, eat, drink and marry and get prepared for the ceremony on the next market day. <laughs> Chief, who has the youngest is here now. You start sharing. No, no, don't bother yourself. Let the young man come and do it. Come and share this thing uh, so that we will enjoy ourselves. The <laughs> Igwe has agreed that we should enjoy. Onatago! Onatago! Opaleza Natago! Utaba Tago Nabodo! Opaleza Natago! Yeah! Oh, my God. 